Gary Doran here with the Boone Shag Club. We are going to continue uh, with our lesson number four, which is the startup. All right, and you're probably wondering, okay, how do we get started in the Carolina Shag? No matter who you dance with, guys, you're going to do the startup. And the startup initially looks like this. It's one touch, three and four, five, six, leader out, two, three, and four, five, six, all right? So the startup, I'm holding my hand out. This is called a closed position. We're in a closed position. You remember Becky said earlier, this is open. So this is a closed position. I hold my left hand out. She puts her right hand in it. My hand is on her shoulder blade so I can lead her out and across the slot, all right? My hand just rests comfortably either on his upper arm or uh, on his shoulder, but notice we are not curled up all real tight because if we do that, we don't have room to move to dance. We have to have a little bit of space here. So this is a slightly different count whenever you count. So guys, you're starting on your left foot. So keep, guys, keep your weight on your right foot so you can move. Ladies, keep your weight on your left foot so you can move. So when he leads you, you're ready to go. So when the music's playing, we pat each other to the beat of the music and then guys, you're gonna lead her by gently moving her to that to her right foot, all right? So it's, and usually to begin with, uh, we tell beginners to use one and two, three and four, five, six. One touch, three and four, five, six. Lead her out, two, three and four, five, six. And now we're back in the slot or on the diving board in an open position. So we started in a close and now we're in an open. So again, the startup is a slightly different count. It's a one touch. So it's one touch, three and four, five, six, six lead her out. Two, three and four, five, six. So you notice that in all the steps we've done so far, the turns, the basic, the startup, we continue to stay in that six count pattern and moving our feet in the same way all the time. Ladies, you start on your right. Guys, you start on your left. And it's the same exact step when you're doing a turn or whether you're doing a startup, however, with a slightly different count on the startup. Okay, so, so that was a simple lead out. I'm leading her out just across the slot. If I wanted to lead her into a female turn, I would pull her hand up towards her face and lead her out with this hand, all right? So it's a one touch, three and four, five, six, one and two, three and four, five, six. That was actually an inward turn. You could do an inward or an outward. This is called making the dance your own. We've shown you the basic startup and now we're giving you some variations and you can also find your own. So also out of a startup, you could do a male turn. It's a one touch, three and four, five, six, one and two, three and four, five, six. Guys, you're just doing your male turn in place. So she, when she feels your hand going up, you're leading her out and turning around, you're leading her to the other side of the slot. And that's key. Guys have a harder job than the ladies do right. because he has to think about leading me and counting and doing the steps correctly. So I'm just giving guys the credit. All right, so we're going to do this to music and we'll show you what it looks like. So Gary's asked me to dance. We're out on the dance floor yeah. and we're going to get started. One and two, three and four, five, six. One, touch, three and four, five, six. So that's it for the startup. 
Watch for lesson five. Be coming soon. <laughs>